Last lecture we completed Euler's method and Euler's modified method to solve differential equations. Okay. Given some initial conditions to you. And then we moved on. Uh, the second uh, Euler's modified method is also called as the Ranjay Kutta method of second order. Today we will learn the Ranjay Kutta method of fourth order. The practice will remain the same. Question up to Dia Hoga would dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y ke form may hi dia hoga. Right hand side up f of x comma y a jaga. Chicken and formula will change here. So, what is the difference in the formula and how do we calculate? So, let's understand this with the help of an example. Before that, we know down the formula. Okay, so let's understand here. Always your dy by dx will be equal to the function of x comma y. Okay. Then you will be given some y0 and you will be given some x0. These two things will be given to you starting point. You have to calculate four things k1, k2, k3, k4. Fourth order, right? So four k's you will have to find. To calculate k1, h times f of x0 plus h by 2 comma okay f of x0 y0 first one k2 will be f of x0 plus h by 2 and y0 plus k1 divided by 2 k3 would be f of x0 plus h by 2 and y0 plus k2 divided by 2. Lastly, k4 would be h times f of x0 plus h comma y0 plus k3. Is this okay? So you start with k1. Using k1, you calculate k2. Using k2, you calculate k3. Using k3, you calculate k4. Once you get all of these k's, you calculate your k. Okay, you've got k1, you've got k2, k3, and k4. You'll now calculate your k as equal to 1 over 6. One over six k one two k two two k three and k four and lastly your y one will be y zero plus k so it's a big formula but yes easy calculations okay so let's understand this with the help of an example you can note down the formula you can take a screenshot of the formula so that we will be able to use it. Okay. Let's start with the questions. Okay. So question over here. Solve dy by dx is equal to x times y with initial conditions y of 1 is equal to 2. And find y at x is equal to one point two and x is equal to one point four using the Ranjakutta method. Okay. So, always understand. Okay. All, uh, this is Ranjakutta method of fourth order. 
So always understand method name will be mentioned very very clearly. Question आपको बहुत clearly बोलेगा आपको कौन से method use करनी है. ठीक है? And you have you are expected to follow the same method. You cannot change the method. So observing dy by dx is equal to standard form में आ चुका है आपका. And if it is in the standard form, I'll write f of x comma y is x times y. Now reading this, can anyone tell me what is the value of x zero and y zero? Reading this, what is the value of x zero and what is the value of y zero? Yes, please. I believe last lecture हमने एक सम में किया था ये. Good. X zero is one and y zero is two. ब्रैकेट के अंदर से नंबर होता है वो एक्स जीरो होता है एंड दी वन आफ्टर दी इक्वल टू इस प्योर वाई जीरो ओके सो यू हैव दी वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स जीरो एंड वाई जीरो वी विल रिक्वायर एच वील रिक्वायर एच हाउ डू कैलकुलेट एच यस प्लीज हाउ विल यू बी एबल टू कैलकुलेट एच Any idea? How will you calculate h? Very good, Prisha. How did you calculate that? How did you calculate that? X one minus x two. Okay. Let's understand. In the question, there are three values of x given to you. First one is one. Second is one point two, and the third is one point four. यहाँ पे करस्पॉन्डिंग वाई की वैल्यू पता है ये दोनों पूछे हैं हमको करेक्ट नहीं वी नो द वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स वी नो थ्री वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स एंड वी नो वन वैल्यू ऑफ वाई द रिमेनिंग टू वी आर एक्सपेक्टेड टू कैलकुलेट दिस कॉन्स्टेंट डिफरेंस व्हिच इज देयर ऑलवेज दैट इज आर एच राइट सो येस यू कैन यूज एक्स वन माइनस एक्स टू और बिकॉज इट्स द कॉन्स्टेंट डिफरेंस बिटवीन ऑल थ्री यू कैन यूज एनी ऑफ द टू So in this case, h is equal to zero point two. Let's apply the formula for Angiotta method. We start with k one. The formula for k one was h times f of x zero y zero. Let's substitute the values. H is zero point two. F of x zero is one, y zero is two. So zero point two times this is your x f of x comma y, right? So it's basically multiplication between the x coordinate and the y coordinate. So your answer is zero point four. The answer is zero point four for k one. I hope no doubts. Let's calculate k two. H times f of x zero plus h by two. Y zero plus k one by two. Is that correct? Zero point two times F of x zero was one plus h by two will become zero point one, so this becomes one point one. Y zero is two plus k one divided by two will become zero point two, so that becomes two point two. So this becomes zero point two multiplied by one point one multiplied by two point two. I hope multiplication कहाँ से आ रही है सबको समझा है. I'm getting multiplication because of the function being x multiplied by y. Function का definition वो है. So I have 0.2 multiplied by 1.1 multiplied by 2.2. That becomes 0.4840. You can of course check with your own calculators. I hope calculation of k2 is clear with all of you. Okay, good. Let's move on to K three now. H times f of x zero plus h by two, and y zero plus k two divided by two. Let's substitute zero point two f of. This is going to remain one point one, and now this becomes y zero is two, and k two divided by two is two four two zero. Can I calculate and tell me the value? Do the calculation and tell me the value.
गुड जीरो पॉइंट फोर नाइन थ्री टू ओनली ईशान बॉट इट और एवरी वन एल्स इज गेटिंग द सेम वैल्यू ओके ओके गुड वी मूव ऑन टू के फोर करेक्ट H times f of x zero plus h now and y zero plus k three. So observe when you calculate k one, no addition is there. K two, k three, me half is h by two, h by two, and k two calculate करते वक्त k one use करोगे and k three calculate करते वक्त k two use करोगे. K four में दोनों full आ जाते h and k three. Okay, no divide by two. So this is equal to zero point two. f of 1.2 comma y0 plus this that's going to be 2.4932 do the calculation good Zero point five nine eight four. Is everyone else also getting the same value? Okay, good, correct. Okay, so that's the value of K one, K two, K three, K four. Next step, let's calculate K. Formula for K one over six. Yeah. Formula for K is one over six K one, two K two, two K three and K four. Substitute the values. Zero point four, two times zero point four eight four zero, two times zero point four nine three two. And zero point five nine eight four. So I'll do the calculation. And tell me the value. Five seven four three four nine two one 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 So y1 is nothing but your y when x is 1.2. Y at x1. आपका x0 1 था, x1 is 1.2. So y's value at 1.2 is y1. And in this case, the formula is y0 plus k. Y0 plus k. Your y0 was 2 plus k 0.4921. So the answer comes to two point four nine two one. I hope this is okay. Now, because the question is not asking you only this much, they have also asked you at one point four. They have also asked you at one point four. We will take this as y zero, or we'll modify the formula with y one as the base. Okay. Same repeat process करना है, so I'll call that as part B of the same sum. Let's start. Here I'll start with my formula for k1 as h times f of x1 y1. I hope सबको समझ में आ रहा है x0 y0 क्यों नहीं लिया x1 y1 क्यों लिया? Because now we are using x1 y1 as a base. 
K2 would be H times F of X1 plus H over 2 and Y1 plus K1 over 2. K3 ke formula mein H times F of X1 H over 2 and Y1 K2 over 2 and K4 ke formula mein you will have X1 plus H and Y1 plus K3. So, on substitute the values, 0 0.2 is your this. X1 is 1.2 and Y1 is 2.4921. Use your formula of f of x comma y, which is x multiplied by y, which is x multiplied by y. Zero point five nine eight one. Yeah, that's correct. Zero point five nine eight one. Next calculation. Chalo. Came up two. Zero point two times f of one point two, and y one that is two point four nine two one plus zero point five nine eight one divided by two. So first you'll have to simplify the division and then substitute in the formula. Eight nine seven two. Here, value is different. You both same value. Aari hai. Let's check. Let's check. Six six nine eight. 0.6579. Okay, there is the book is giving some other value. I'll just check. Okay. We have 1.2 right here. Yes. So 1.2 plus h by 2, right? I think 1.2 plus h by 2. So 1.3 on Yes, 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 yes. This will be 1.3 here. Okay. So I think all of you made the same mistake. And then I have 2.4921 plus 0 0.707. Mm -hmm. Seven two five seven. Check. Zero point seven two five seven. Yeah, zero point two F of one point three two point four nine two one zero point seven two five seven divided by two. This call us a calculate any kids or me calc me direct as on divide by two while a part pura. Take 0 0.2 multiplied by entire thing, you can put it together in the calculator. Check. Mm -hmm. 
that's correct is it 7423 or 7243 7423 yes 0.7423 and lastly 0.2 times f of 1.4 ho jayega yahan pe and this would be 2.4921 plus 0.7423 Zero point eight. Zero point eight is not the correct answer. Nine zero five six. Yes. Zero point nine zero five six. And lastly, calculate K four. Ah, uh, sorry, K. Calculate K. One over six. K one. 2k2, 2k3 and k4. Is you are writing 1.0556 for k4 or you are writing for k? Uh, not matching. Not matching the answer here. We'll wait for what others are getting. Let's see. I'll sign up to cross check. Zero point seven three nine. Yes, zero point seven three nine nine four. Yeah, nine nine six. It is coming to. If you fix five nine nine five. Okay, so if you fix your calc, it will come to zero point seven four, no? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so your calculator, if you fixed it, it will come to zero point seven four zero zero. You can ignore. And now we'll calculate y two, which is going to be equal to y one plus k. It's going to be y one plus k. So that would be zero point no two point four nine two one was your y one and k zero point seven four. Three point yes two three two one. And this y two is nothing but your y at one point four, and this is what was asked in the question. I hope this is clear with all of you. The Ranjikutta method is clear. Not necessary. You have to ask two parts. Mein puchhenge. Sometimes they can ask you only one part. I have shown you some where there are two parts. You can have a question where there are only there is only one part. Okay. So if this method is clear, one last method which is remaining, we'll move on to that. That is called the Taylor series method. So before we move on to that, I'll like to put up the formula for Taylor series, and then we'll move on to the method here. So let's look at the formula here. The Taylor series expansion goes like this: y is equal to y zero plus x times y naught dash x square by two factorial y naught double dash x cube by three factorial y naught triple dash. When I say dashes or double dashes, it means derivatives. It means derivatives here. 
okay fine and just one minute okay let's understand this with the help of an example if in case we were supposed to find it at a particular point this x thing will be used when you are supposed to find a polynomial or you replace x with h you replace x with h So two types of questions here. One will be calculation of polynomial and the other will be the sum which is direct calculation. Here. So let's understand this with the help of an example. The question goes like this. Employ Taylor series method to obtain solution of the differential equation dy by dx is equal to x square plus y square with y equal to 0 when x is equal to 0. For x is equal to 0 0.4, and we are expected to find it correct to four decimal places. Correct to four decimal places. So let's understand what do I mean by correct to four decimal places. You have iterations, maybe why did they talk about correct to four decimal places? Okay, so first and foremost, your f of x comma y or your function, you can say y over here. Okay, your function over here is. Rajin, what happened? Rajin, Okay, so. Let's start over here with the question. Now understand, in your Taylor series format over here, you require y0, you require y0 da at the derivative, y0 double dash. Triple dash and so on. Okay, these are the values here. So how do we start? The only difference is this is your y dash. This over here is your y dash. Okay. So let's begin. That's the difference over here. My y0 is 0. y0 is at x is equal to 0. So y0 is 0. So calculate y0 dash. I'll calculate the value of x square plus y square at x is 0 and y is 0. Yeah, for x 0, y 0 square nikalna. Okay? Fine. So, that will become 0 square plus 0 square, which is again 0. y 0 double dash. y 0 double dash. To find y 0 double dash, we will be taking derivative and applying chain rule at the same time, your derivatives are with respect to x. The derivative is with respect to x. So let's understand. This will become 2 times x0 plus 2 times y0 into y0 dash. Chain rule. Let's substitute the values. 
एक्स जीरो की जगह पे जीरो आएगा एंड वाई जीरो एंड वाई जीरो डैश दोनों जीरो हैं तो ये पूरा टोटल वैल्यू भी जीरो होने वाला है वाई जीरो ट्रिपल डैश वापस डेरिवेटिव लोगे वापस चेन रूल अप्लाई करना है एक्स जीरो के साथ जो टू है वो एज इट इज रहेगा प्योर आई लैव टू अप्लाई यू वी रूल डेरीवेटिव ऑफ बी प्लस बी डेरीवेटिव ऑफ यू लेट्स सब्सिट्यूट दी वैल्यूज टू प्लस टू टाइम्स ऑल ऑफ दी वैल्यूज इनसाइड द ब्रैकेट आर जीरो सो दिस इज गोइंग बी टू लेट्स गो टू द फोर्थ डेरीवेटिव डेरीवेटिव ऑफ टू इज गोइंग बी zero here okay and if you look at any further derivatives okay let's do this also let's do this uv rule again okay before i apply uv rule again this will thoda simplify kar lete hain now let me scroll the screen okay This is two plus two times y zero y zero double dash plus y zero dash ka square हो जाएगा. Now let's take the derivative. Y zero raised to four or the fourth order derivative. The derivative of two alone is zero. Two times again U V rule. Can anyone tell me what will be the derivative of y zero and y zero double dash? y0 y0 डबल डैश u v रूल लगाना है आपको यस प्लीज हाउ डू यू अप्लाई u v रूल हियर यू कैन अनम्यूट योरसेल्फ एंड टेल मी दिस इज योर u जय श्री राम कब एनी वन एल्स यू नीड टू अप्लाई यू वी रूल कब ऑन क्लास इट्स नॉट दैट डिफिकल्ट anyone who can type and tell me the answer because if you don't understand this how to calculate the derivative it's going to be difficult okay rishikesh good y0 y0 triple dash y0 double dash as it is and y0 dash very good so it's u as it is derivative of this will become triple dash correct prisha uh prisha you don't have a triple dash afterwards It's going to remain double dash, and then you have y zero dash. Okay, so this is for the first term. This is for the first term. Its derivative is here. Okay. What about the second term? What will be the derivative here? What will be the derivative here? Y zero dash and Rishikesh, what about the chain rule? What about the chain rule? You Y zero dash here already. Ab Y ka derivative with respect to X le rahe ho na? So two Y zero dash to aega. and then you will have y0 double dash very good then you will also have y0 double dash that's called the chain rule is this fine let's substitute and check the values let's substitute and check the values so the first term is of course 
and which is a term which is non zero was i think y0 triple dash but uske sath bhi hamara zero wala term aa raha hai y0 so i think all the terms are becoming zero check all the terms are becoming zero so this value is zero this value is zero okay now we'll not be finding any more terms beyond this why i'll explain when we start applying the formula i'll be applying the formula which has h which has h because i'm supposed to find the numerical value and not the polynomial okay so let's apply the formula here this is the formula and i'm going to add terms of h raised to 4 divided by 4 factorial and y0 raised to 4th order derivative and so on it's an infinite series so you always write which formula you are using so by taylor series expansion this is called okay let's substitute the values y0 ki jagah pe 0 h ki jagah pe 0.4 correct no h is 0.4 this is a difference h y0 dash is again 0 h square is 0.4 square divided by 2 y0 double dash is again 0 cube would be 0.4 the whole cube divided by 3 factorial which is 6 and this is 2 next term is 0.4 is to 4 divided by 4 factorial which will be 24 and again you will have a zero okay we don't write the next terms reason is the question tells you four decimal places so let's observe i believe except the 0.4 cube term all the terms are becoming zero all the terms are zero correct so we'll calculate only that term that is 0.4 cube and that will be divided by 3 because 2 and 6 will get cancelled and this becomes 0.0213 so you can see this itself is a four decimal answer iske baad jitne calculation karoge na 0.4 raised to 5 or anything because fourth order derivative to zero aa gaya hai but fifth order derivative even case zero nahi aaya ya some other order derivative zero nahi aaya vishesh mein non zero honge derivatives तो वहां पे 0.4:5 हो जाएगा जो फोर डेसिमल से आगे चला गया है हमारा वैल्यू वी नीड अप्रोक्सीमेट वैल्यू अप टू फोर डेसिमल प्लेसेस आई होप द स्टेटमेंट इज क्लियर व्हाई दे आर आस्किंग फोर डेसिमल प्लेसेस एंड बिकॉज़ इट इज आस्क्ड अप टू फोर डेसिमल प्लेसेस वी विल फाइंड इट अप टू हमको चार डेसिमल मिले 0.4 का रेज टू 4 जो होगा उसमें चार डेसिमल आएंगे बिकॉज़ एक डेसिमल द पावर 4 विल गिव यू फोर डेसिमल्स ओके सो दैट्स व्हाट यू डू हियर So now my answer is zero point zero two one three. Zero point zero two one three. I hope this is clear. So in this particular manner, here the only difference, the biggest difference you need to remember is that your uh, y dash will be given in the question, not y. You are using y dash, y double dash, and things like that. Y zero will be given to you. जो फंक्शन होता है dy by dx is equal to तो dy by dx is nothing but y dash तो वो जो फंक्शन होगा वो y dash की जगह पे यूज़ करोगे आप ओके सो दैट इस समथिंग व्हिच यू नीड टू रिमेम्बर दैट ओके फाइन सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वन लास्ट एग्जांपल और वील डू वन थिंग वील डू दिस एग्जांपल इन द क्लास बिकॉज़ इट्स लिटिल ल and i don't want to stretch the time here so the numerical ones where you were supposed to calculate the numerical value is clear with all of you the next one is with the help of polynomial okay and generally questions are asked correct to four decimal places for six marks generally question is asked correct to four decimal places for six marks they can ask you two steps jaise humne bhi iske pehle wala kiya ranjakuta method they can ask you two different values okay so that is also possible Hence, we stop here and 
I'll take one example of the exact value thing in the class. Okay, so that completes your module number six.